Having just gone out of the 12.40 p.m. showing of Five Nights at Freddy, the first showing here in the UK, I haven't played any of the games before, so I am completely new to this world. I have heard of it, but what did I think of the movie? Well, I thought it was good, but not great. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review, which will be spoiler free as we talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. Directed by Emma Tammy and starring people such as Josh Hutchison, Piper Rubio, Elizabeth Lyle and Matthew Lillard. The story focuses on security guard Mike who takes a job at Freddy's Fazbear's Pizza. When he starts working night shift, he starts to notice a few things aren't quite right, which also eludes his dreams just to interrupt this video very quickly if you aren't aware by now i do have a patreon you can buy my book shop merch and so much extra stuff request movies via paypal with patreon memberships do only start from one pound per month you get so much access to so much early stuff including reviews that you'll not see here onto the channel access to polls competitions goodies giveaways and all that good stuff I do want to give a special thank you to all those people who do support my patreon absolute legends love them all Really appreciate the support and you can join today by clicking the link down below. Now, let's get back to the video. Getting out of the movie and this is just my absolute fresh reaction here. As I mentioned in the intro, I thought the movie was good, but it wasn't great. So, just to go into some positive straight away, I would say the acting here is good, right? Everyone does a good job for what they're given. I can't say that any of these actors or actresses are absolutely outstanding here, but I think that also comes down to the writing, which it will get into with the negatives. I also really like the kind of like practical suits and the animations of our bears that we have here in the Five Nights at Freddy's. I thought that they're really cool. They looked cool. They had a really kind of um, mystique around them and regarding them as well, which I thought, you know, kind of played in pretty well with the story to kind of keep you guessing about, the, you know, like, what is controlling these bears? Like, is it all just pure animatronics? Is it something else? Now, of course, if you've probably played the games, you're going to know everything around this world and you're going to know it kind of exactly probably where this is going to go there was parts where i definitely feel like there was a lot of easter eggs here and definitely at the end i think they play like the main theme song of this at least the teens were kind of singing along with the theme song at the end so i'm guessing if you're a huge fan of the games you're probably going to enjoy this movie a lot more than someone maybe like myself who's never been introduced to this world before i'll also say that there was times i thought where there's not a lot of kind of horror and gore added here, so I really don't know well, why it got the 15 age rating in the UK. But I think for what is used, it's done okay. There was times I thought, ah, oh, you know, that looked pretty cool. And finally, I will say that throughout, I was entertained. I wasn't bored by the movie. I was definitely intrigued as to where it was going to go, and it definitely did keep my attention. But with all that said, I absolutely have to dip dive into the negatives so, and unfortunately the negatives for me is with such a kind of cool concept and with such a kind of cool idea the writing for the film wasn't great and as i mentioned before with our actors and actresses doing a good job they do the issue is there's a lot of cliches here there's a lot of tropes and ultimately by the end of it they try to give you an emotional story of mics throughout which I'll be honest, I sat there and I really couldn't care about. And I know that's a shame to say, and I really want to be invested. I really want to feel this journey. I feel as if the movie takes too much of a bit of a lighter tone than actually going like really dark and more kind of sinister, with which I feel like it really should have, especially given the concept and the plot that we have. This should have really been more really getting under your skin really want to feel for our characters rooting for them and hoping that you know they're going to get out okay but instead i was just like yeah i kind of don't really care right now <laughs> and it's a huge shame to say that because i really feel as if this is a very light on the horror very light on any gore whatsoever as i mentioned there's maybe one scene why it's probably a 15 but a lot of the kills kind of happen off screen and it's a little bit disappointing so with that in mind i'm going to give five nights at freddy's a three 
out of five stars. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Are you going to check out Five Nights at Freddy's? If you are, definitely leave a comment below while also giving the thumbs up and give the video a like as well. Let me know what you think of this movie. If you've seen it or you're intrigued to check it out. If you've enjoyed the review, certainly subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below. And until the next time, I'll see you guys. I'll be seeing you later. Thank you.